Good afternoon, out and equal. Uh, we're going to have to try that one more time. Good afternoon, out and equal. Yes. On behalf of Bank of America, our over 40 teammates that are here today, let me hear you from Bank of America. Yes. We want to thank Out and Equal for hosting such an amazing event. This summit is exactly what we need right now. As many of you know, it's been an interesting several of years, especially for those of us that advocate for diversity and inclusion in our organizations and in our communities. We have experienced some progress in support of human rights and equality, but we've also experienced some setbacks and some challenges resulting in people and communities coming together to protest against hate and inequality. At Bank of America, let's be very clear, we will never dissent or tolerate dissent on diversity and inclusion. It's a commitment that's built into the foundation of who we are as a company and what we fundamentally stand for. I also have the privilege of sitting on our Global Diversity Inclusion Council. That council is chaired by our CEO, Brian Moynihan. And let me tell you, he never misses a meeting, still as the CEO and chairman of our company. And more importantly, he uses forums, whether it's our senior leadership meeting, our market president meetings, different forums on diversity and inclusion to advocate for difference and why it matters to who we are as a company. As an example, in our last global town hall, which is shared with our entire organization, he talked about our second annual senior executive LGBT summit, as well as our first ever annual Emerging Leaders LBT, LGBT Summit. And he shared pictures and talked about the criticality of supporting not only our LGBT mates, but diversity and inclusion at our organization. Being a an diverse and inclusive company, I mentioned is core to who we are. And I just want to read a quote from him at that particular town hall meeting. He said, quote unquote, being a diverse and inclusive company is core to who we are, to meeting the financial needs of our clients and our communities and driving responsible growth. We want our teammates to come to work, be themselves, and be successful. And what I took away from that were two words, be themselves. At Bank of America, it is not only important to drive diversity, which is representation, it's also important to drive a culture of inclusion where every employee at our company feels like they matter. And before I close, I want to just read a letter because I can talk about the different accolades we've received as an organization or our longstanding and steadfast commitment to diversity and inclusion. But this is a particular letter that was sent to our global head of human resources. And in the spirit of every employee feeling like that they matter at our company, I just want to talk to you and share this personal story. Basically, this, there's an individual who says, I started my medical transition from female to male in July of several years ago. And it, just in the spirit of confidentiality, I don't want to say the specific date. At that time, I had no idea of the benefits that Bank of America has to support the trans community. Earlier in a subsequent year, we had a team meeting. And someone from HR talked to us about the benefits and support of the LGBT community. After that meeting, I right away started looking into what was offered. I couldn't believe such a major corporation was so forward-thinking and supportive. While employed with Bank of America, I have been able to have a double mastectomy, a full hysterectomy, countless doctor appointments, lab tests, prescriptions, all covered at 100% or very low out-of-pocket costs. When I called my insurance company, to find out how and why these benefits were so amazing, I was told that Bank of America has purchased a separate transgender gender confirmation policy for surgery. Throughout my entire employment here, I have been treated with 
such support, confirmation, positivity by my team, my manager, upper management, more than I could ever ask for. During my leaves of, of absences, I have been paid 100% of my wages while taking time to recover. I have one last surgery at the end of this year, and right now I have zero out-of-pocket costs for this major surgery. I just get emotional reading this. I cannot begin to explain how amazing it is to work for a company that has not only my interests, but its employees' best interests at heart when setting up things like these benefits. In the trans community, there are so many people that are afraid to come out at work and do not have the, near the support that we have here at Bank of America has shown to me. Basically, I just wanted to send a thank you to someone at a higher level and let them know what impact that they have, are making for people like me in our everyday lives. Thank you, Bank of America. It's an amazing company to work for, and I'll tell everyone who is willing to listen. Let's just give that a round of applause. So with that, on behalf of Bank of America, we are so proud to be a visionary sponsor. Again, thanks to our 40 teammates that are here today because you make all of this possible, and we appreciate being here at Out and Equal. Thank you very much.